for another video and today I'm going to be doing my ride or die tag that was created by Jacqueline Hill and oh my god I'm when I saw that video I literally watched it from beginning to end I was super concentrated in it because Jacqueline Hill has such amazing like skin and her makeup looks amazing and I thought like oh my god I just want to know what are her you know go to products are so I thought this is a really cool tag to do so I thought I'd do my version of it by the way I don't know what's going on with this hair it's in a weird bun because it's super oily and full of dandruff so you guys know I don't want to see that stuff in my video <laughs> so yeah I'm going to show you some of my ride or die products and I hope you guys will find this helpful so the first product is going to be makeup spray and my go-to makeup spray is the smashbox primer water you guys know i love this one um it's just like look this is my second bottle and it's already nearly halfway gone it's just so good and it just makes everything sink into your skin it's really good before your makeup especially when it's hot it just refreshes your skin it acts as a good base for your makeup like it adds that extra moisture and it's um, really good at setting your makeup because it's just really good at making everything seep in and just blend all together and look very nice and dewy so yeah this is my ride or die makeup spray so for brows my go-to brow product is the Anastasia brow definer I absolutely love this and it's nearly finished and I haven't been using it a lot because I just want to keep it for just those extra good occasions because this is a high-end brow product, it costs a lot of money and I go through these like it's nothing especially because I love it so much and I just use it all the time um, it just makes my brows look so good by the way I've used all the products that I'm going to mention in this video I've got it all on today and this just makes my brows look so natural and like so defined and it's just so good and it's just something about it that makes that's it's not too harsh or not too light it's just the perfect amount of pigment that makes your brows look really natural and full so I absolutely love this and I'm in the shade dark brown by the way my go-to brow gel is the Estee Lauder Brow Now Volumizing Brow Tint I'm in the shade dark brunette since I discovered this not long ago I've used it every single day apart from one day where I couldn't find it and I used the Rimmel Clear Brow Gel but this is so good at keeping your brow hairs in place they literally do not budge throughout the day I don't worry about my brows at all and it just sets everything in place and I know it's a higher one but it's just really good it's really good so if you want a good good brow gel this is the one to go for I thought I'd also include my go-to concealer to clean up my brows because I've been doing it a lot and the concealer that I think is perfect for that is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden it's waterproof and it's super full coverage and it just cleans your eyebrows perfectly I don't like to use this on under my eyes because it's just so um, dewy and it does it does seep into fine lines so I just like it on flat surfaces so such as like the underbrow that's what I'm gonna call it no the brow bone to clean your eyebrows I don't know how to speak I also like it to cover blemishes because it's on a flat surface and because it's so dewy it doesn't uh, make your blemish really dry and patchy it hydrates it funny enough so <laughs> this is a really good one for blemishes scars um, and cleaning your brows with now for the important one is the foundation I've got it right here um, it was really hard to choose the foundation but I just thought of the one that I will go for and I know that it won't it won't let me down I know that it won't seep into my fine lines I know it won't make me look orange I know it won't crack up during the day I just know that this one will have my back and it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick this is perfect and I know Jacqueline, uh, Jacqueline Hill had this one as her go-to one um, it just shows that this is a good foundation like if you have not tried this just, just give it a go if you want good skin I think it's good for all skin types um, it's just really good it just makes your skin look like skin but like full all this photoshop skin but naturally I don't know how to explain it I did get it at IMAX for 1650 by the way which is a huge bargain I should have just got two I don't know why I didn't but next year I'm definitely gonna go there just to pick up this foundation again and probably stock up with them and probably get a bunch for my makeup kit now onto concealer, I have the exact same one as Jacqueline Hill again, but it's just such a good product and my Ride or Die concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in medium dark warm. 
I use this in all my tutorials, I use it as a base for my eyeshadow, I use it as my concealer, I use it to highlight my face. It's just such a good concealer. It doesn't crease, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't dry my under eyes out, which used to happen a lot when I didn't really know much about makeup. I used to have like the Sahara Desert under my eyes because there'd be so many cracks and it'd be so dry. The skin on your eyes is different, it's much thinner, it's got more lines, so you want to be careful with the concealer you choose. You want to make sure that it's really good for you. And this is like my go-to, my go-to concealer. Like if I had to go meet Beyonce one day and I want to look good, this would be my baby right here because I know it won't let me down. So now on to makeup setting powder. Now I only use powder for my under eyes, I don't really set my face with powder so there won't be a face powder in this video because it just won't be genuine, I don't use it and I don't see what's the point of me including one in there. But for under eye setting powder, and this one you can use for your face as well, and it's obviously the Ben Night Banana Powder. I just feel like with all these products I'm just going to keep rambling on and say this is really good, this is like the product, but this under eye setting powder is so good it's not actually an under eye setting powder but I do set my concealer with it and I do set like around my mouth area sometimes when I'm using an extra dewy foundation and it just really brightens and it makes your skin look super flawless um, I do want to try the Sasha Buttercup powder because I've heard a lot of people rave about it and it looks really good so I'm definitely going to try that one one day but for now this is my ride or die setting powder. So my go-to bronzer at the moment, that, this was a really hard one to choose because I love bronzers and my bronzers do change a lot. I just go for whichever I feel for on the day and they all have different finishes but the one that I have to choose and like the one that I will always go for if I were to go somewhere special, if I want to look extra good and I know that it won't let me down is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Now I thought this would too, was too light for me but it's just so perfect and that the finish of the powder is actually what I love, it just makes your skin look soft. I can't emphasise on this enough, like whenever I put the MAC Mineralize Skin Finishes powders on my, on my skin, cannot speak, um, it just makes your skin like look so soft. Um, I've got it on today and it's just like such a nice warm bronzer and I just love it so much. I did have a little tiny accident here. I was putting my bronzer and then I dipped my brush proper into the Becca Sh um, Champagne Pop highlighter and I was going on like this and I'm like why the hell is it going on white and then I saw it was the highlighter and it's like all up here but it's all good. I blended it away. <laughs> So yeah, this is my favourite bronzer, it's just so warm and so, it's got that bit of shimmer in it and it just, I feel like that shimmer just makes your skin look really soft, especially in light and it's so nice in the summer, oh my god, if you wear this in the summer, like in the sun, you look like you're sun kissed by the lovely summer sun, I don't know, but it just makes your skin look good basically. So now onto highlighter, this was extremely hard for me because you guys know I love highlighters but... I thought about the one that I would go for to make my skin look extra like highlight popping but this is what I've got on today and it's the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. The thing I love about it is this that I use this a lot and it hasn't even created a dent yet so this is going to last me a good while. It's, it was a good investment because this cost £30 and I still went for it. Um, I was I never thought that I would buy a £30 highlighter until I got this one and it just looks so good. It just makes your skin look like you're blessed by the holy god of highlighters I think. So so now onto eyes, my go-to eyeshadow palette is obviously the Morphe, oh crap, the eyeshadow fell out, 35O palette, I, look at the colours, that just represents me, the, the, you wouldn't even have to know me, just look at this palette and you'll know me 100%, um, it just speaks for itself, like look at all those warm eyeshadows in there, I am wearing this today and it's just such an affordable palette, um, it was, I believe, £18 on Beauty Bay. If you can get your hands on this, this is like the go-to palette. You need this. So now on to eyeliner. I'm, I have two, actually. I've got one gel and one liquid. My go-to ride or die gel eyeliner is definitely the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. If you want perfect eyeliner and with so much control, get this. 
Um, it does work really well with the ultra precise eyeliner brush by Bobbi Brown because that brush is just so thin and precise as the name explains it to me. But um, it's just so good like if I'm doing makeup on someone else this is the eyeliner I'll go for because I have so much control over it I know I won't mess up and if I do I can just clean it up with makeup wipe. But you, it's not like too liquidy, it's not too dry, it's just that perfect black colour as well and the consistency of it is so easy to control, that's why I just love it so much. So now for the liquid eyeliner, my baby is the NYC liquid eyeliner in black, I believe it's in black but there's literally no light writing on this because I've used it so much. The reason why I love this so much is that it's so black, it dries out to be a pitch black, that's why I really like it. It's more on the liquidy side, so you need to have more practice with this with this one, but I still love it if I want to clean up, for example, if I use the Bobbi Brown one and I'm just having a really bad day and I can't get it right, I'll just go over with this and it just cleans it up and it looks really good as well. My favourite cold pencil is the Primark um, eyeliner. It's so weird, this costs like £1, but it's just so pigmented and... I'm not too fussy with cold pencils, so this is a really good one to have, especially if you're starting off with makeup. It's one pound, you can't go wrong with it, and it works really well. Oh, and I actually forgot to mention my favourite corrector, and you guys know, I think you guys know already, it's the LA Girl Orange Corrector. If you want a good corrector, this is the good one to have. Very pigmented, you don't need that much, I've had this for ages. Um, it's easy to blend, it does its job properly, and um, really good as well, so yeah. I forgot to mention blush. Now, I'm not really much of a blush person. Most of the times I don't wear blush, but if I want to wear a blush, it'll be the Bobbi Brown Pale Pink Blush. Um, it's just a really nice one that complements my skin colour, I feel like, just as a pop of colour. And I'm wearing it today, but I'm wearing a little bit, because I'm very, very subtle with blushes, I don't wear that much. For my mascara, Lash Sensational. My Lash Sensational mascara is my favourite mascara ever. It makes your lashes stand out so much, they look like falsies when you put this mascara on. I recommend it to anyone, like literally, it's so, so good. My favourite lip pencil is the Rimmel Tiramisu lip pencil, it's the one lasting finish one. Um, these are like so affordable and Rimmel is like the drugstore brand that has the best lip liners in my opinion because they're just so good and creamy and oh my god it just feels like a high end lip pencil so try these out if you haven't, they're very affordable and very long lasting as the name says and the colours, they have got a good range of colours so yeah definitely like this one. And then my favourite, favourite lip product that I've been loving and that I'm officially obsessed with is the one that I'm wearing today and it's the MAC Taupe lipstick. Not only do these lipsticks really smell nice, they smell like vanilla cupcake, but these colours are just so good, especially for dark skins. You know that I'm always looking for good nudes that um, are good for dark skin and all skin colours as well, but mostly for dark skin because a lot of nude lipsticks look so washed out on me. Um, I did post um, my favourite like perfect brownie nudie colours video, swatch video kind of thing. Um, so if you guys want to check that video out, I'll leave a link in the info box. Um, but yeah, this is my ride or die lipstick, like no question about it. I do have my art free, but the Persistence and Well, which are also some of my favourites. Eklund Hill did include a um, perfume in her video, so I thought I would include that as well. And my ride or die perfume is... YSL Black Opium. My mum got this for my birthday and ugh, it's just such a good perfume. Oh, it smells so nice. It has vanilla and coffee beans in there and some type of flowers but it's just such a good combo that it just it's really good for winter. I don't wear it much in the summertime because it's such a warm deep scent. It's got it's quite sweet but it's quite a I don't know, musky sweet smell, I don't know how to say, explain scents, it's really hard to, but um, it's more of a winter time scent I would say, because it just it's just very warm, like when I wear it I feel very warm. Anyways, that's the end of this tag, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one, I had a lot of fun filming this video, because it was kind of fun picking out my little babies, my little favourite babies in my makeup collection. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and subscribe for more videos, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.